so in this lecture we are going to learn how to draw a cause effect graph from a decision table so for this the first thing which we need is a decision table and then we have to identify what are the different conditions in it and what are the different actions it has then all the conditions we have to list down in our left hand side and all the actions we have to list down in the right hand side let's see how so the conditions are real account so you can see here we have listed down real account here the next point is active account this is here now within limit and the last one is location okay so these were the four conditions we have which we have listed down here now there are three actions so similar way we have to list down the actions approve call vendor and call the card holder now we have to analyze this decision table and provide the logic here what does that mean that means if you see the test case one if all of these conditions are yes then you will approve the transaction that means if your account is real if your account is active and if the money is within limit and location is fine then you are going to approve the transaction so this is going to be your first combination next one is if if uh, if you see the test case 5 6 7 and 9 if your account is not active or if you don't have a real account then you are going to call the vendor that is what we are going to achieve now so if your account is not active you, you are going to call the vendor similar way if your account is not real and not active then you are going to call the vendor so that combination we have achieved here and the last combination which is remaining is if your account is real and if your account is active but you don't have the amount within limit and if you are not in the correct location that means or conditions you are going to call the vendor so if you have a real account active account but limit is not there or the location is not there then you are going to call the card holder so that is how by analyzing the decision table we draw the cause effect graph there are different notations which we have to follow in order to draw the cause effect graph which I have not uh, given you here because I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So here if you see a straight line that means it is a valid transaction. If you see a dotted line that means it is not a valid transaction. And with this I am ending this example here and I will see you with the next one. Until then happy testing.